YouTube, what's good? We're back in this thing. Today we're gonna be going over this Fredo Bang Big Steppa swipe transition. Pretty easy, all we're gonna do is add some a roto brush and a swipe and some motion blur. And that's pretty much the effect. I'll show you a few other things you can do to spice it up a little bit more. A uh, big shout out to Daniel A for giving me the suggestion on this video. So if you guys have any other suggestions on videos, uh, leave that in the comments below. And if you guys want me to do a full breakdown on this music video, definitely let me know in the comments and give me a like to show you really want that uh, done because there's definitely some other really cool effects done in this music video. Uh, this one's gonna be really quick. If this is your first video, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe because what we're doing here is a thing called Tutorial Miss. It's where I upload 31 tutorials in the 31 days of December. So there's already a lot of tutorials on my channel that you can go check out after this video. And we still got a decent amount more to go this month. So definitely be sure to subscribe. This one's gonna be a quick one. So let's get into the video and start breaking down the effect. So that's the effect that I came up with. It's pretty similar to the one that they did in the start of the video. Here, I'll show you. This effect right here. It's pretty clean. I really like the effect, pretty simple to do. So what you're gonna wanna do is here, I can delete the stuff that I already have and we can even delete the roto brush. Just find a clip where you think the transition would be cool. I think I'm gonna have it like start where his hands come off his head and then go back, like stop swiping when it goes on his, or his hands go on his head again. So basically the transition is gonna be from here-ish to around there. And then you got a little bit of the clip before and after, just kind of how they did it in the music video. So the first thing you wanna do is, so just go ahead and control shift D on the clip you want if you haven't already, and then go ahead and click on the roto brush tool up here and then double click on the layer. And what that's gonna do is make a new layer out of the composition. So it's just the rotoscope and then go to the first frame in the effect and do a really good job on the first frame because roto brush two will uh, stay pretty close to what you have in the first frame. If you mess up you can click control Z or if you hold alt on your keyboard, you can erase you like that. It'll erase the edges a little bit. So just going through here. And like I said, the better you do the first frame, the better the track's gonna be throughout the whole thing. So I spent a majority of my time on the first frame and then just uh, barely tweak throughout the whole thing. I'm gonna have this little spot go away as well. And if you hold H on your keyboard, it brings up the hand tool so you can move around a little bit. I just scroll in with a, or I just zoom in with a scroll wheel. It doesn't have to be super perfect, but uh, the better you do the better of a job it will look. Make sure you get everything in the middle too. Sometimes like if it's like a high contrast uh, color or whatever, it won't track the middle. And then you can just go over to preview on the right hand side and you can go frame by frame or you can press play if you have like a really high contrast background. I think it will do a good job just tracking the subject without having to go frame by frame. Since we have like a little bit of uh, motion in here and it's a pretty short clip, I'm just gonna go frame by frame real quick. Uh, you can start like see if he has like a gap here, you can start taking away that basically whatever makes it more realistic since his hands are moving a lot it's kind of the tracks kind of falling off there so just adding back on those spots just make sure we get it as best as possible down here a little bit too and now the tracks really learning and actually doing a real good job here so i'm not having to change anything at this point i probably could just go ahead and play it through but just clicking frame by frame is fine by me it's doing it fast enough anyways you can even see it has this little spot right here it knows it's not supposed to get that. I think it messed up right down here a little bit. So always check the edges because the edges are a real easy way to make it look really bad. And then it kind of starts losing his hoodie here. But yeah, the more high contrast of a spot you're in, like the subject in the background or whatever, the easier it's gonna be for sure. And then we only have a few more frames here. And just like that, now we can go ahead and click freeze. And what that's gonna do is lock in the roto brush layer that you uh, committed here. And what it's going to do is just separate the background. So it's only going to show this part and then everything else is in the background is going to be black. And then we can go ahead and close out of this layer. So we go back into the composition and we can see what our roto brush looked like. And it looks really good in my opinion. I'm going to go ahead and control D that layer and then go to the bottom layer and delete the roto brush. And what that's going to do is just separate the full image here. So the bottom layer is just the full, like whatever, like default we had. And then the top layer is just a, uh, the subject. So then to start the effect, what we can do is go to effects and presets and type in offset. And then we're going to go where we want it to start, like right there and go into the effects tab here. And we can have it just keyframe the default position. And then you want to go to where it stops. I'm going to have it stop something like right here, right where he puts his hand on his hair. And then you can just drag this however many times you want. Um, doesn't really matter. Obviously, the more you do, the faster it's going to go in that time period. And then just line it up as best as possible. And then you can go ahead and easy ease these keyframes. So just highlight both of them and then right click on one of them and go to easy ease. And then you can already see that's already a pretty dope looking effect. 
All you have to do is add some directional blur and that's pretty much the whole thing. Directional. And then you can keyframe the blur at zero, a frame before it starts. So if we go to the blur, keyframe it one frame before it starts, then go to the frame where it starts actually shifting and drag that up. And you're gonna notice that it's, if you didn't go vertically, it's gonna um, obviously be blurring the wrong way. So you can go ahead and type in something like 90 if it's going exactly horizontal. And then you start to notice that the subject's a little bit, like if the crop isn't the best, all you have to do is just go into shift edge and just move that in a bit. I'm gonna do 100% and then feather it to something like 10. So that's gonna make it look a lot better around the edges and less noticeable. And it takes a second for it to start blurring up. So what I'm gonna do is actually just bring up the blur here. So it's gonna, the blur is gonna start getting stronger. And then I'm gonna keyframe the blur to zero at the end, the blur length. And then you can go ahead and add easy ease to that. And just like that, we pretty much have the effect. You can kind of see on the edges, it uh, doesn't like wrap the pixels. I know there's an effect that does that, but I'm not quite sure what it is at the moment. What I'm gonna do is just control D, the, uh, the background layer, and then you can unlink this. And if you see, and you drag this out, just like one or 102, what that's gonna do is just stretch it wider and it's pretty much just wrapping the pixels and then you can't notice the edges like that. Like I said, I think I'm almost positive there's an effect for like wrapping the edges, but I'm just not sure of it at the moment. And uh, that was just an easy fix. There's the effect. Uh, I think we recreated it like almost perfectly. So here's ours. And we can go and watch uh, the one done in the music video. I think what they did is they actually didn't e use EZs. It looks very linear the way they have it uh, wipe. So if you wanna go ahead and not use EZs, you can do that. But I like the way it looks when it like ramps up and like slowly gets faster and then like slower at the end. Obviously, if you want the effect in the background to be moving faster, all you do is just bump up the number of times it loops around in the period of time you have. And if you want it to go slower, you obviously just don't have it do as much. You can do as little as one and as much as as many as you want. Obviously, uh, once you start getting into a lot of wraps in a short time frame, it does have a crazy look and you can't even really tell what's going on. It just looks like motion blur. So keep that in mind. You can also, if you don't have the effect start, like you can have the effect start right at the beginning of the clip and you can have it like be scaled up or something like the background layer can be scaled up. So I'll give you kind of an example. It's gonna look a little weird cause it starts not right the first frame of the effect, but if you wanted, we could do something like click keyframe scale and then halfway through have it like scale up and at the last frame, scale it back down and then like reset it. That's just gonna add like a little bump effect. Not super crazy about how that looks, but just like stuff you can do to the effect to make it look a little bit, little bit different. You can add glow in the background, glow in the subject. I know he used Acto right before this, so you could even add Acto. It's Universe Acto on him. Crazy Fireburn outline. I'm not a super big fan of that effect, but uh, I know a lot of people are. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the effect. If you guys want me to break down this the whole music video and go over the film transition, the zoom through the watch, um, just the overlays, a bunch of other effects that are in this music video, go ahead and leave a like and a comment saying that you want me to do that. If you made it all the way to the end, I really appreciate you. Thank you very much. If you want to support me, go ahead and watch some of my other videos or check out my website and look at the texture pack. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. Peace.